Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Castlevania, episode 3. Uh, last time on Castlevania um, was a uh, an Isaac-focused episode, right? Um, in the very first episode, we were still catching up with all our main characters. In the first episode, it was um, Saifa and, and Trevor and Alucard, of course. And last episode, we got a bit more of Isaac and where he's been, what he's been up to over the, the course of the past month. Which is essentially expanding his army, and and he has been looking for, um, looking for Hector. I, I I didn't think he would be. I know he'd be out for revenge, obviously. Um, you know, for all those who betrayed Dracula, um, for their own claim to the to the the throne. But I imagine that he would have um, Carmilla would have been his first stop, and not so much um, Hector. Although they are at the same location, so. Um, win-win for, for, for Isaac if he finds both of them. But um, he, he looks into the mirror and it showed him what he desired most. And uh, more than anything else, he wants to take Hector out. Oh, um, ironically, someone mentioned um, in, in discussion with, um, about the series overall and the direction that it might actually take. And, uh, you know, some have theorized that in the end, and I, I kind of agree with this theory, um, having kept Hector around as long as they have, and he's not, I've said it before, um, after everything that he's done, I'm surprised that he's still kept the will to live so long because I'm sure Camilla could have put him through a lot over the course of one month, right? And her sister has said it themselves in the last episode, right? Um, you've put him through so much and taken away everything that he cares about. Why would he help you? And and to that, and I, 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 I asked the same question and, I asked myself, why would Hector still be around? Because he's, you know, his will to survive is, is still very much there, even though, you know, he's been through... He, he's somewhat undeserving because of his betrayal, but he's still sticking around for some reason. And I think that reason is that both he and... Um, he and Isaac will be how Dracula is revived. I've, I've said before that I mean, in the video games... Yeah, in video game lore, Dracula does return every 100 years, but it may be that they change that um, lore or tweak it somewhat to the extent where um, his two followers, um, Isaac and Hector, um, both Forge Masters who have the ability to bring back the dead, um, somehow they work together to bring Dracula back to this plane. So, um, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a long shot. It may not happen, but that, that is my theory so far. Um, because I cannot think of any other reason as to why Hector is um, Hector still has such a strong will to, to live, um, except to re redeem himself somehow. And the only way I can see him doing that is to is to bring Dracula back to life. Um, I would have thought that perhaps you know he was staying around to maybe get back to Carmilla, but um, she seems to have a plan to keep him in check. Because if he does build her an army, what's to stop him from using that army to 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 kill her and her sisters and um, she has said um, she has tasked one of her sisters with getting him under control. Um, Lenore, I believe the sister's name is. The, um, she appears to be the youngest of the two, but they are vampires, so a bit difficult to tell who's oldest and not. But Lenore seems to believe that she has a way to get Hector to to be obedient, right? Um, so that would be interesting to see. And of course, as I've said, um, I mean, we're, we're, the world is still expanding throughout this season so far, and all the new characters that we've been introduced to. I'm thoroughly enjoying, and we were introduced to the, um, the the captain of the ship that that Isaac is will be sailing on, and he just gave his, he didn't give a name, just said to call him captain. But he was a very very interesting character, along with Jermaine as well, who said a lot of um, peculiar things, right? And not including his being immortal somehow. So whether or not he was, you know. I'm not sure in what in, in what manner he meant it, but if, if it was to be taken literally. <clears throat> but if it is, he doesn't appear to be a vampire, but in, in this world, there could be more than one ways to, 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 to stick around, right? Um, but the, the captain himself and the old man that, um, that Isaac actually met at the shop, um, I'm not sure if we'll, we'll be seeing that old man anymore. I'm not even sure if Isaac's monsters didn't kill him right then and there. I'm hoping they did not, um, because a lot of a lot of colorful characters. I'd, I'd like them. I'd like for them to stick around long enough for me to enjoy them. Um, the captain himself, he has a, the, the voice actor has an accent. I mean, I can't quite place it, but um, it seems to be um, somewhere in the Caribbean, either Jamaican or Haitian. Um, I, I couldn't quite place it, but I'm enjoying all the new characters that they've um, that they've 
introduced us to this um, this season. And of course, Jermaine has gotten his wish um, with the monks of the Priory to, to study um, the, the books that they have there in, in search of something that we're not quite sure what he's looking for just yet, but um, another mystery to add to um, to, to the, the lore of Castlevania. So it's something that I'm looking forward to as well. So um, episode three, let's check it out. So, what's next? Don't know. Mm. I mean, I suppose we could take a break. We could. What um, is their plan exactly? <laughs> burning devil goat turds from the sky. You weren't going to say disturbing, were you? You were going to say fun. fun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, so much fun. Oh, you got insane. Really? I mean, the life that she's the lived. The most fun I've ever had in my life. Prior this to has this. Been amazing. You know, um. <laughs> Traveling uh -huh. around, exchanging well, you know stories. This is nice. This is I a, a significant. This is oh, a oh drastic change from what she's accustomed to. Sleeping in a bed was nice. Move from a speaker to a monster I mean, hunter. I'm not complaining or anything. Well, the bed was actually pretty good. I I'm used to sleeping under trees. Sleeping in the wagon is nice too. Better than sleeping under trees. Roll on out of here. I do not like staying in one place. What? It's good that he's mm -hmm. found someone who Long shares that at the really. Because we're having fun, right? Right. I admit it. I do. You and me. We're doing good things, and it's been pretty uh, far from boring. Why is this feeling like also, a foreshadowing? I hate when they focus so much on the, the good things. Give it the just gives you the impression that something do you is going to go horribly really wrong. Worship Dracula. All right. I mean, try not to Who sound so sinister exactly when you say it. Are you? I am Saifa Belnades, a magician of the speakers. This is Trevor Belmont of House Belmont, fighter of demons. So our names shouldn't be said out loud, since they apparently love Drac. Oh, speaker magic. You're a speaker magician. Are you really the last Belmont? In the flesh. What do you want? Well, now I want to know how you're even alive. <laughs> how did you survive, Dracula? I run the town. But my power stops at the Priory's door. The place is apparently full of lunatics. What do you need to know? Lindenfeld was hit by a pack of night creatures. coming from this is after Dracula's downfall and at that point Hector and Hazard weren't creating anymore. But I pride myself on a carefully organized town. They took them down? My men at arms wiped their weapons in salt and shit. Okay. Salt on the blades very good. Not shit to make the wounds sick. <laughs> Yeah, so they managed to hold their own without, you know, firing monster hunters. some sort of deal. So their new phone, the worship of Dracula, didn't just come out of nowhere. A 
while later, the monks came out with blackened pieces of the creature. I couldn't tell you if the pieces added up to the entire beast. I mean, if he knows all this, why crying. not? Not one of them. I mean, you have they the forces looked... to take the power monks oh. down. I mean, it seems Broken. to have the advantage here. None of them could. A few days later, the first stranger arrived looking for the priory. A priest covered in blood. Couldn't stop shaking. Pissed himself in the market square. Dagger in his hand. The monks took him in. It's been happening every few days ever since. I need to know what happened. I need to know why the priory in my town is attracting damaged, frightening people. I have a community. Just the right people here. for the job. I need to know what's going to happen. And the enemies to the priory at this point. But he's being the direct. Monks are armed. Their forces now match my men at arms. All of the town and their capabilities are known to the prior. You have the advantage of anonymity. All right, so he doesn't have the superior numbers. They're, they're evenly matched. So the priory is a lot larger than I thought it was. I, I, I figured it was just the group you, that they saw in the square when they came in. You're... <sighs> well, at least he offered to pay our rent while we're here. Investigators. <laughs> I have brandy. You know, I mean, the good thing is his I monsters, know. they're already, they're you undead, so I don't out. imagine they're consuming a lot of I food and resources and water uh, and things. So. Muslim? Sufi. The spinning around kind or the self-flagellating kind? The latter. <laughs> oh, I was. Well, I imagine it hurts. It can't be blamed for stopping. Tell me the story, Isaac. The night is long and serious. Yeah, you got a long way to go. I was a member of Dracula's court. Dracula? <sighs> no, you got, Captain oh, got what you wanted. Good. He's not bored. Dracula, the vampire king? So working for Dracula was like suicide the long way round. Perhaps. And he saved you in the I end, so perhaps not. I worthless, and I suspect a fresh start would be good for the world. Present company accepted, of course. No. <laughs> His castle was attacked. Dracula threw me to the desert through a magic mirror to save my life. That don't sound like someone who wants to kill all the people of the earth. He was confused. He was grieving. And now you're sailing back to Europe to find Dracula? Oh, Dracula I believe is dead. he's dead. I have other reasons to return. I was given this by a man in Tunis. I would have loved to see what the captain the wanted. The human in the court is being kept prisoner by one of the vampires who schemed against Dracula. That's a nice gift, though. Is the it? man who gave it to me said it was an acquires a human connection. I'm still curious about Why? the vampire forge master magic. magic. Not this magic. That's to how Hector and Isaac it learned it. If it was Dracula who taught it to them, because both their, their ability to forge and one to bring back the dead is, is different. And it's Hector and Isaac, they're not exactly the, the same, but I do want to know how head. they came to get God that skill. Lived. And now you sail to Europe to exact revenge on the people who betrayed your Dracula. I do. Where will you go? Styria, home to Camilla, who rules that region. And then what? What? Well, after you've had your... Have you ever heard this Maxim? If you don't have your own story, you become part of someone else's. Yeah, what do you I want, Isaac? Nice, huh? That's because I invented it. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you saw that I have a knife. <laughs> Do you deny our species is cruel, Captain? No, hell no. But... No. I've been cruel. It's a cruel world. That it is. 
Maybe we do all deserve to die. But maybe we could be better too. Why would a man with all your fantastic knowledge not use it to teach people how to be kind? What? Right, so the king. Bastards need punishing. What could your rule be like if you just taught people? Kill or to rule them all. I would like more water. Then you shall have it. Isaac, the Ford master. I like this captain. My gift. Honestly, I'm sorry, but I'm I'm with Isaac's original plan to wipe everyone out. So sorry, but I need a But chair. surely he must know better, right? This happened with Carmilla before and look where it got him. Can't possibly fall for that. I also that need you time. to leave before I decide to kill you for keeping our guest in such a manner. So treat him cruel, and then was that for my benefit? Show him an act of kindness. What? Telling the guard off for doing his job, so that I'll think you're sympathetic, so that I'll like you. Please tell me you're Why smart you enough not to fall for that, Hector. Vampire. Carmilla is queen of Styria, but we rule as a quartet. Marana is the organizer. Striga is the warrior. Huh. And you? The diplomat. It's a pleasure. Please to don't meet fall you, for this, Hector. Hector. Would you like something to eat? No. I like my rotten meat with maggots. It's soft, with extra goodness in it. Don't be a pet, Hector. If you if you fall for this, I will never forgive you. I seem to have some roasted chicken here. I'm afraid there are no maggots on it. I can call the guard and ask him to get you some sprinkles. <laughs> That's quite the picnic you have in there. I never think of vampires as eating food. Oh, we eat. It's the blood that gives us our essential nourishment, of course. All right, so at the very least, these vampires, you know, in other lores, they, right. they absolutely cannot I'm consume normal harm. food. They, they literally can't, Let's but I guess here they, they can. Talk. Thank you. You're very welcome, Hector. I know I can't kill you, but you call the guard, tell him to unlock this fucking door. strong for that, I'm sure, yeah. What? At least he's not dumb enough to fall for it. Get information yeah, out of and you want Just him to build you an army. You all want something. I make peace, and because of that, people think I'm soft. People think I'm weak. You won't make that mistake again, will you? Fetch. Good boy. All right, there we have it. Episode three of Castlevania. Um, damn, I I I want to feel for Hector, but again, I don't know. This this whole mess was created by Hector, so it's, it's still tough to emphasize with Hector. That said, I have to give him I have to give him props for actually seeing through that. Um, I'm not quite sure what what this means for him though. Right, I've said it before, and I mean I said it earlier that I do think. Hector has a plan 
It's the only reason why I, th- I could possibly think he has the will to survive as long as he has. And if not, then both he and uh, Isaac can in some ways act revenge and redeem himself by bringing Dracula back from the dead, hopefully. I think I, I think that's I think that may be the future. I think they both have a part to play in bringing Dracula back, especially with all this newfound focus on them being Forge Masters, which um hasn't been explained in its entirety. But they did give some um some a bit some bits of information this episode um in Isaac explaining it to the captain that it's something that he learned, um, but. There was a in season two we had flashbacks with Hector um, and his growing up with his parents, and it's not something that he learned. At least I don't believe it is, because he knew he knew how to do it inherently as a as a child. He brought his pet back to life. So um, Hector seems to have been born with the gift, or um, perhaps you have to have a specific bloodline and then learn it. Um, that may have been the case. I'm not entirely sure, but. I do want, I, I am curious to know what the difference is between their two um, Forge Master abilities because you can see the difference, not in, not just in the creatures that they bring back, but how they bring the creatures back, right? Um, Hector was able to bring a priest back from the dead and that priest was able to um, to, to make holy water in the, 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 the entire bay that they used to flood Dracula's castle, right? So there's clearly some difference between the, the techniques that they both use and I'd, I'd be interested to know a bit more about that. Um, but yeah, um, Hector is in a predicament. Um, I do hope, I want him to redeem himself at the very least, so I do hope he doesn't fall for this ploy. Um, I don't know. Clearly, Lenore, I, I, I assumed that she was going to try to manipulate him somehow, but I, I figured she would go the way of trying to seduce him and being kind and that seemed to be the route she was going and Hector saw through that, so that didn't work. So what? What? I mean, what's the plan now? Um, essentially, to to say to him that create um create new monsters for us, or he'll beat the shit out of you. But that's 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 what Carmilla has been doing all this time anyway. So her approach wouldn't be much different from Carmilla's. So I'm not sure what the what the play is here, right? Um. He will, she will come and be nice to him and he will clearly know that she's doing that with an agenda. Um, so he'll only do it for the purpose of survival. And, you know, if he creates a big enough army, he can still turn against them. So I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how, how, how she plans on doing that. Un- unless, I mean, she plans on breaking him so, somehow to the point where, you know, he becomes her pet. Because that seems to be where she started off with this whole thing and um, offering him the food and stuff. But... Um, again, that's not much different from what Carmilla did before. Um, I guess only, the only difference here being that Lenore will reward him with nice things if he does her bidding. But that still doesn't remove, you know, um, his need for, to exact revenge on them. Um, so I don't see that working out for them well in the long run, right? Um, as soon as he has a massive enough army, he can just turn against them. So I, I do want to see wh- where that, how that plays out. And of course, um, interesting conversation with the captain and Isaac. Um, I, I'm, I'm loving that character more and more. Hopefully, when they do get to their destination, um, Isaac, the, Isaac spares him and doesn't kill him. But he has, you know, he has it in Isaac's head now about, you know, rather than er- er- eradicating human all human life, um, why not lead them, right? And to that, I say, no. That was Dracula's plan. I'm sorry, but it, uh, l- listen... Um, I don't know, the work that Dracula had, Dracula and his wife, you know, had been doing prior to that, because her, what she initially wanted was for Dracula to spread his knowledge, um, educate the rest of um, humanity on, on science and how to, to go about things. And she never got to do that, and I don't know, it, it's it's easier said than done. If he wants to try, I'm all for it, but... That's, uh, that's a lot of kingdoms to conquer. And and who's to say he's even going to survive his ordeal against the vampires, um, against Carmilla and her four sisters? He's going there to kill Carmilla, but I don't think he's counting on three other high vampires there in addition to Carmilla. And judging from what we've seen of Lenore, she's just as strong as Carmilla is. 
I seen that Carmela, and uh, so strangely, um, I mean, we didn't get to see Carmela go all out in a fight, but I didn't think she was capable of anything that we saw Lenore do, turning into mist and turning into bats. Um, I I figured uh, we've seen it at Dracula's castle with some of his other generals, and um, seen what they can do, but we never actually saw Carmela, uh, you know, show any abilities like that. So I imagine I'm guessing now, now that I've seen Lenore in action. I'm thinking that Carmen is uh, like really strong as well. So Isaac has his work cut out for him. He does. Um, we we caught up with uh, of course uh, Trevor and and Saifa who have now been tasked with dealing with the priory. Interesting. Um, judging from what the the town mayor um said, he. You know, and the last attack that was made against the town, one of the 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 night creatures that were there, they they. He fell into the, the priory church and it was at that point that the, the, the monks changed. So prior to that, I'm assuming they weren't, you know, they weren't worshipping Dracula. But since that night, they've they changed completely and they've been attracting more and more um, broken people to their to their cause. So it's very interesting that he said that the monster had a conversation with them. So I don't know. I, is there a connection between the prior monks and Dracula himself um, that he's somehow reaching reaching them from, from hell or wherever it is that he is um, to, to try to, I don't know, I don't know what, try to make himself stronger or his influence, his influence grows. You know, I'm not, I'm not sure what the, the priory's agenda would be here or what this monster could have possibly promise them for them to abandon their faith and decide to start worshiping Dracula. Um, it could be something more sinister than that, that perhaps it's, um, it's taking control of them somehow. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but interesting turn that we're, 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 we're getting all the pieces on the board now and we now know we're following Isaac, we know, um, Hector as well and Carmilla and, and, and Hector. So all the pieces are on the board now, and all the uh, over the course of the next few episodes, we'll see how they we'll see how they move. We know we know at the very least Isaac and Hector are going to uh, their story, their um, storylines are going to converge at, at some point as soon as the, the the captain actually gets to um to Carmilla. So there's they will meet before um before Alucard and um and and Trevor and Sefa meet up with those characters. So we have a long way to go, guys. A long way to go. Um, be sure to post down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Any your theories about um about the the priory as well? I'm interested to know what everyone's thoughts are on 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 the priory and what exactly happened with them, and as well as um Lenore and what um what, what do you think she has in store for Hector as well? So um be sure to hit like and subscribe, guys, and I'll see you guys for the next one.